Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone. Welcome back to the trendy Winner Home on Afternoon Express, only on SABC3. Now, Private Property has teamed up with Afternoon Express to provide you with advice on the different aspects of property and estates. Now, if you are a landlord, perhaps, or an investor who wants to invest in property and particularly to rent out that property, today's segment will be of great interest to you. We have Michelle Dickens, Managing Director of TPN Credit Bureau, in studio to give us the lowdown on letting property in an estate. Welcome to our loft. Good afternoon, Dan. So, Michelle, let's talk about what your company does because numbers seem to be the most important thing when it comes to looking at buying. So, what TPN does is we are a credit bureau and we collect uh, rental data on tenants around South Africa. And the idea is to understand where people rent, um, how much they rent for, and most importantly, how they're paying their rent um, mm. on a monthly basis. Coupled with that rental data, we overlay the deeds data, so we've got a market value for the property, we've got a rental value for the property, and we can then determine the gross yield okay. on a per property basis. So if I rub the genie's lamp, I can get all this information out, which will help me make a wise decision when it comes to buying to let. So what is your data showing? Where are people buying? Where are people renting? Where should we buy? And where should we rent? So there's different um, things that a, a landlord or an investor is going to look for. He's either going to look for capital appreciation or he's going to look for yield appreciation. Um, and the yield appreciation takes into account um, data such as, or factors such as my delinquency ratios, my vacancy ratios, um, and how much rent I'm actually able to achieve. We look at that and we say, well, what are the different areas performing? I can tell you down in the Western Cape, it's one of our best performing areas in terms of rent collection. Mm. So our tenants pay incredibly uh, well down in the Western Cape. But as we know, property is at a premium. And so our yields are not nearly as high in the Western okay. Cape as they are in, say, Johannesburg. Johannesburg um, and Chwane and Ekuleni, I get my best gross yields. But unfortunately, my tenants are a little bit more challenging to collect mm. rent from. And so I, um, I might have a little bit more of a delinquency. Uh, rate. Okay. You mentioned delinquency. Sorry to interrupt you there, but a delinquency itself, is that a, basically a tenant who doesn't pay on time or doesn't pay at all? Correct. So we look at the data as a good standing tenant, as a tenant who's paid on time, paid late, um, either in the grace or, or later in the month. But by the end of the month, he's paid up. Our delinquencies okay. then are tenants who are either partially paid or not paid. Mm, um, we don't want those. No, we don't. Yeah. And nationally, we have about 6% of tenants who are on the delinquency um, Which is quite payment. a lot. Which is quite a lot. Or you could go to below 3,000 Rand rentals and there your tenants are 13% in the did not pay category. Pay your rent, people. Pay it. Otherwise, we, obviously, the landlords, the guys who are making these investments, don't get to make their money back. Uh, and it's quite a legal nightmare to be able to fight those sort of battles and to um, eject people uh, from property because of what our constitution does try and protect. But what about estates? I mean, where are estates on, on your map at the moment? Are estates a good place to invest? So estates are a fantastic place to rent in terms of location, location, location. Yeah. Typically what you're buying into there is a premium, um, you're buying into a lifestyle estate, and a buy to rent, even a buy to invest, is not a short-term decision, it's a long-term um, okay. decision. And so over a 10 or 15 or 20 year period, one expects there to be a change in the cycle and for capital appreciation to start delivering in, in our estate market. Okay, so estates are a good place to start looking into, um, but in terms of the rules and responsibilities, you're kind of uh, liable as the owner of the property if your tenant starts to behave um, you know terribly on the estate starts to play loud music you're quite responsible as the owner so first of all how do we go about choosing the right tenants to put into an estate house that we're renting out so tenant selection is one of your key critical areas in terms of replacements what you want to look at there is their previous rental experience how they've paid their rent their previous credit uh, behavior um, judgments can we ask for that defaults. information uh, absolutely from them. Okay. we need the consent of the tenant so effectively what the investor or the agent on their behalf does ask for consent and then perform the relevant um, credit checks to ensure that the tenant that we're placing has the right history and therefore um, is, is going to be a good tenant going forward. Okay. So one of the key elements um, of your lease is signing a lease agreement at the beginning of the lease um, and making the rules of the lease, the homeowner's rules, materially part of that lease agreement. So annexing it to the actual lease agreement. Okay. That's important because if your tenant um, is um, non-compliant in terms of those, those rules, the investor can then pass a fine onto the tenant in terms of any fines that he might have received. Mm -hmm. um, if the tenant is breaching the rules in such a way that it's a material breach of the lease agreement, the landlord can then start the process um, of evicting the tenant. And it's the same process in terms of um, whether the material breach is um, non-compliance of uh, rules mm -hmm. versus non-payment. 
the challenge with the lease agreement is it can be either verbal or written. Mm. So simply because you've got a verbal re uh, uh, rental agreement or lease agreement, you're not going to attach rules to a verbal lease agreement. Yeah. Um, but the Rental Housing Act um, has got some amendments at play. Um, potentially, that means that the lease will have to be in writing. Yeah. And it's a good idea then to annex those uh, body corporate rules or homeowners rules as part of that lease agreement. Stunning. So there you guys have it. Uh, renting out a property on an estate can be a very good investment. But as uh, with most rental investments, conducting research beforehand and screening your tenant thoroughly is absolutely needed. So don't forget to enter the Winner Home Grand Prize competition on private property and stand a chance to win a multi-million rand home on the Eye of Africa estate. All you have to do is log on to privateproperty.co.za and answer that very simple question and then vote for your favorite design duo. After the break on the show today, I check in to see how the master bedrooms are progressing at the halfway mark.